We need some recovery time chat. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are y'all? We need to recover from what just transpired. <clears throat> My throat has not recovered. Good morning, Foolish Fox. Thank you for the follow. Bork and Bork, 26 months of subbing. Inkwell Monster, 23 months of subbing. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. Spoke Icon arrived yesterday. Love it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Mike discovered. So what happened on the broadcast? Um, Mike ordered the new um, macchiato. Macchiato. Ryan was telling me how to pronounce it. I never order a macchiato or a macchiato. Macchiato. Um, from the coffee, so I don't know how to say it, but Mike ordered. Mike was super excited. <clears throat> Mike was super excited about the uh, the macchiato pen from. Oh, he's gonna leave it in from Gold Spot. So they did a new exclusive, really good looking coffee pen. Mike was all about it, and then I asked. Just we were wrapping up. Like I didn't even have to ask. I just randomly I said, "Oh, how many how many units did they make?" Um of this pen i said like, was it a 9.99 special edition because it was just a gold spot special edition and mike was wondering about you know why they were still in stock <clears throat> and so he went and scrolled down and found it and then, <laughs> and then he found the ad copy for it <laughs> it was about the boston tea party <laughs> and, the, and the the british getting told off basically <laughs> So he was regretting it. It ended up being a whole thing on the show. So you will definitely want to check this out. It um, it lost. We lost the plot real quick once Mike read that ad copy that neither of us had read previous to the show. So <laughs> it turned into a thing. And I laughed so hard. Like my throat is like I'm coughing still. And I've been drinking water all morning. Coffee, coffee, then water. <coughs> so y'all have to forgive me. We probably won't go too long today because my voice is shot. Oh, but yeah. I have not recovered from that. Y'all will enjoy it. What did you get with the what did you get with an architect nib on it? He is so mad. It it <clears throat> Macchiato or espresso espresso. If I if I had to get one, I'd get an espresso. But I just generally get, like, pour-over, drip, <clears throat> regular coffee. But if those were my two choices, espresso. <clears throat> Racing green with a brass grip. Oh, yeah, you got the the red. Yeah, that was a cool one to build. I like that one, Foolish Fox. <clears throat> oh, man. <clears throat> it's rough. So, yeah, like, I have no plans. I'm spent... Oh, I thought you meant the Narwhal Brooks Macchiato. <laughs> um, no, they did a Retro 51 um, Gold Spot also. It's going to do an Ask TP about Mike's Retro question still going strong. I think he's, I think he's slowed down, but his point with this one was it was an Insta buy, and then we, uh, and then we read the uh, read the ad copy, and <laughs> now he's concerned. Do I talk about the every rose has its thorn, Sailor? No, send me a link. <laughs> I could get behind that. <clears throat> Got my unloved spoke pen from eBay today, and I believe it's found its forever home. Nice. What color is it? Oh, glad it came uh, so quick, Foolish Fox. Yeah, sometimes you catch me on a good day. I ship uh, I ship twice a week right now, so um, usually don't have to wait more than a few days before I ship. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Mike sends a scene, need to send an email to Goldspot asking to fire Tom. Why? Okay, hang on. I'm gonna sign in over this so it stops. Uh, so it stops asking me. I gotta put in a security code. I guess I cleared my browser history and stuff the other day. So give me one second here. Bruh. Oh yeah, that's the wrong code. Okay, now we can get rid of some of that screen stuff. <clears throat> wow. 
That's brutal, Evan. That's some guilt trip. I don't need notifications. All right, we got to click that link again. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. Oh, no, I have not seen this. Okay, I got you. I don't want to know. Please welcome to the stage the newest professional gear fountain pen by Sailor. Sailor professional gear. Oh, it's really called Every Rose Has Its Thorn. Okay. Deserves a hearty round of applause. This edgy yet delicate pen combines a unique coloring of rose gold with shimmering light catching ivory. Sailor professional gear. Every rose has its thorn. <clears throat> it's a limited edition. Okay. It's really pretty. But I mean, you're all singing it, right? <clears throat> Brad, have some tea or honey. Yeah, that's why I'm not gonna go too long today. Then I'm gonna go uh, go do that. Um, I mean, it's a great pen, Sailor. Um, <clears throat> Sailor North America. Is this what you're thinking when you see this pen? Every rose has its thorn? I don't know. <clears throat> no finny, no custom finial, no custom engravings. That's a lot. See, do they even picture the finial? I mean, there's like a far away, right? Standard anchor, I'm guessing. No band engraving. So... Basically, the Point Toasty Treat regular edition, stock edition. <clears throat> MSRP 490. Yeah, pretty but not exciting. So, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, great, great looking, right? Right? But like. Limited edition. So I guess the key is it's got a solid rose gold nib. So the nib's not plated. Right? So I guess the, the idea is that the nib is not plated, that it's like a pre-compounded, right? Is that how I'm reading it? <clears throat> yeah, so. <clears throat> yeah. So the Fika... Even the full size, the blue one is way, I don't know if I'd read it that way. I read it as solid 21 karat gold, solid 21 karat rose gold nib. <clears throat> well, rose color, but not necessarily, it's, it's the first, <clears throat> it's the first ever First, first North American exclusive sailor fountain pen with a solid 21K rose gold nib. Yeah, I don't know how to. I was thinking like completely rose gold, but not two-tone. Yeah, I don't know. It, the the biggest issue the biggest hang up I have is the um what was the um you bet it's plated that's how it's written but not necessarily how they intended it yeah I have the tri metal demonstrator pro gear it has a rose gold nib but that's not a North American exclusive Evan is it this is a North American exclusive that's the difference there are so many qualifiers in that ad copy it's pretty tough. Um, <clears throat> this, what was the, um, the series just recently with the dragon, um, 
um like kind of the the pastels they did like the fouls the 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 five like pastel like the spring rain um those that like this this looks like part of that series like they just did the win this was like the winter one right uh what was the winter one called y'all know which ones i'm talking about i'm sorry i can't think of the name like sarah you re you reviewed one i think oh here's don <clears throat> It is cool artwork. I like the artwork in the box. So it's cool. But like, yeah, like I, I don't mean this in the, in a bad way, but you're like paying for trash, right? <clears throat> like packaging <clears throat> yeah what is that sorry it's gonna bug me now if i don't find this series of pins i'm sorry these <clears throat> So there was a series before this that was also seasonal and there was a white one. So spring rain. This is the one I was thinking of. Spring rain, autumn drizzle, winter rain, summer rain. <clears throat> and this is the old price. This is the old price. The uh, the 312. So now they're 390, 400. Yeah, 400. <clears throat> Shikiori Four Seasons. Yeah, but there was a white one. There was the the winter one was was white and um Those are Slims. Slims with 21 Slims with 21k. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I see 21k. I automatic, automatically don't even read the slim part. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you. Anyway, <clears throat> I don't know if I could find that white one that I'm talking about that looks just like that one. No big deal. But there was a white glittery one that kind of looked like that. Kind of favored that a little bit. This one? Yeah, but this is it. Yep, this is it. Thank you, Toasty Treat. I know it looks completely different, but I was just thinking like the the base material, not the not the trim stuff, but like the base material. So I guess it doesn't look really like it. This is red and things, but yes, thank you. That was the one I was thinking of. Thank you. <clears throat> Question: Why is Twisby discounting many of the transparent Capicos? I know they were limited, but are they move to opaque now. Yeah, I don't know, <clears throat> but I was. I, I, it's curious. Oh, totally worth it. It makes it makes. Remember how like expensive we thought these were. And now it's like, man, I would kill for to have it at that price. Yeah, I think Toasty Treat is right. I think the Every Rose Have It's Thorn, I think is really going to pop in person, right? I think this is going to make a difference. Like, if you see this in person, it's going to be... Uh, <clears throat> it's going to really stand out. You'll just have to decide if it's like 400 going to stand out. But yeah, that was the pen I was thinking of. But yeah, I mean, pretty different aesthetic. Pretty different aesthetic. <clears throat> What's that one? Oh, this the that's the old the old demonstrators. I have the green one of these. I paid like ninety bucks for it. So, anyway, yeah, cool. I haven't seen the, I haven't seen the, the news. On the the Twisby Eco, have they have they who mentioned they were discontinuing? It seems like I did read that. You have a ballpoint of the white with pink speckles. Interesting. Morning, hide it from the wife. <clears throat> yeah, I guess Twisby Twisby does cycle the colorways. I do like the opaques. Um, but I, where did I? I I think you're right, Slumbo and Studio. I swear I, I saw like a the grouping of the demonstrator ones 
was being discontinued. And I thought I shared that link somewhere, or I, I, it seems like I read that somewhere. <laughs> All right, enjoy your Lurk Toasty Treat. <clears throat> Brad, how's your Opus Halo? Um, I haven't inked it up yet, so I'm gonna sit, I need to figure out what ink I'm gonna put in it. Actually, I might write that up for members this weekend and do a, um, do like a uh, Japanese eyedropper post is what I'm thinking. I don't even like Twisby and I regret not getting a Jade. It was kind of impressive, I'm not going to lie. For like a $30 pen and saying impressive in the same sentence is like a weird thing that we do. Um, I, I just, I like the difference in it. I do like the clear ones though too, right? But again, I'll still, uh, the very first Eco T with the light blue cap and the, the red finial, that's still one of my favorites. And it's the first. Have you used your KOP super converter? I have, and boy, does it stain. So that is now the Yamadori converter, which isn't a bad thing to have. But holy cow, it, that converter is now Yamadori, a Yamadori converter. Go greater than Eco any day of the week? Lies. But that's like picking my two favorite kids, right? I've got my jade inked up with the gorgeous rose red. You want more go colors? I think they'll do swipe colors before they'll do go colors. My guess. But that j that jade was really neat. I thought they did a good job. <clears throat> All of y'all have the jade. I don't have a jade. I gave one away. Got to go for Christmas. I use it for my few sparklings. That's a really good good idea. I think it's a really good good pen i mean in the swipes a great pen too like <clears throat> i'm biased though because my eco barrel cracked last week yeah there's always gonna be a thing well not always it's a little a little much for always but yeah it it's still i mean you still run into some issues oh picking <laughs> picking your two favorite kids yeah i can pick my two favorite kids Spring filling is just fun. It's really fun. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, Molly. I'm recovering from the podcast. Too much laughter. Gave me a coughing fit. <clears throat> Completely. Whew. This 823, I keep reaching for it. It is a unique pen. So on the um, good tidbit... On the 823. Oh, I like this jacket too. Uh, my heat is broken. Y'all always make fun of me for wearing this on stream. But my heat is... Uh, well, it's not broken. We're out of propane right now. So it's like 61 degrees in the house. So I'm wearing this. But thank you. So on Tokyo Inklings this week, they talk about how the 823 Clear came about. Which I thought was a good story. So y'all go check that out. Pens Pencils Plus. 18 months of sub in. But basically, Atoya's customers in Japan said they wanted the 823 and clear, and Pilot did it. And that's why we got clear, but they don't sell. They don't really, they don't know if they're going to keep it going. A coffee fit? Yes, Doug, thank you. <laughs> I was really happy to see that most of the pens that I put away were clean. Go me. That is good. Too much laughter is a good sign. We lost it this morning. They did more swipe colors? I haven't seen those. I would love to see those. I, I thought those were more eco colors. Like, I thought those were a different batch of ecos again. Like, I have the Japanese orange eco. But I haven't seen... Or was it the swipe? Yeah, um... Elisa. Is that her name? I think posted those. Coffee or coughing fit? Well, it was actually both at the time. <laughs> You just joke about my bathrobe. I have a, I have a, uh, um, an aversion to wearing that uh, that hoodie on uh, on stream now. In Japan, it was swipe colors. Okay, cool. Hey, now that you y'all say those, I think uh, Alyssa had yeah, Inky Rocks had them. Yep, that's what I am remembering correctly. Okay, yeah, I think it was China. I wish you could still get a blue eight twenty three. I mean, you could probably. Um, Depending on how much money you had, you could probably find one of the one one of the one hundred there today. I'm wearing my bathrobe, it's cold by the windows. Yeah, I would too. Is that coat down feathers? No, I'm sure it's like microfiber, whatever, like something synthetic. I guess I don't even know. 
<clears throat> yeah, I remember we shared these before. Um, uh, Inky Rock's got her hands on them. Yeah, I don't remember. For some reason, I don't remember that full barrel ones. That's really cool. Oh, sorry, I'm not showing y'all. I mean, those are awesome, right? Hey, my my so it had this coat has a pouch in the front. Um, it's like a hoodie. Um, my hands are in here because it's that's it's that cold in here. Plus, I'm drinking ice water, so like I'm cold. cold, cold, cold. But we'll have the heat on tonight or tomorrow for sure. My wife's cold too. She's she's rocking the hoodie as well. <laughs> she said she's gonna go put gloves on. <laughs> so. It's not miserable. It's only like 61 in the house. It's like 50 outside and sunny. <laughs> Boosters kicking your butt. I didn't really have anything in, in the booster. Oh, I got a story for y'all. How cold is it there? It's only 50. It's not that cold. It's not that cold. It's just cold enough in the house when you're sitting here and drinking water. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, practically balmy. Yeah, it's practically shorts weather. So the booster made me think of this story to tell y'all that just happened. <clears throat> when I was looking at Twitch before, and I tweeted this out just a minute ago, I was looking at the Twitch back end before I started the stream. And I was like, wow, I have 16 emote slots. So I have someone looking at emotes again right now. So, you know, on Twitter, for any of those who use Twitter, if you say a word that... um people will search for and just like come find you. So I thought I would have like, when I talked about COVID or vaccines, you know, usually people search and like find stuff and say stuff. Emote is apparently the biggest tr trigger for like the Autobots because they're all in my DMs now. I already got two, I never got a, anything DM to me about anything I've said about like vaccine or anything like that. But I've got two emote people that have just that are just tracking like emotes on there and DM'd me in my uh <clears throat> on Twitter. So if you want a word that will set the bots off on Twitter, emote is apparently it, not COVID. So there you go. Story for y'all. Seriously, it's 24 here and feels warm. Yeah. I'm advocating for closet of doom and icebox of happiness emotes. Um I think the icebox of happiness is in the first batch. We'll see how this, I think I have like five or six on this first batch. If that goes well, we'll do, we'll fill them all up. We will fill them all up. So we'll see. Uh, Toby is in the first batch. Toby, Icebox of Happiness. I don't know, we'll see. Let's see if I can find the email, what's in the first batch. <clears throat> oh, we might actually have progress. All right, so the first batch Toby, uh, take my money, Icebox of Happiness. And then, then some maybes. Unboxing, winner, rigged, and then some stationary ones. So we'll work on the process of this. <clears throat> doing. I need to work on my doing. I was just thinking that uh, yesterday that I need to have a, a book writing stream um, again because I've been, I haven't written in the past couple of weeks. So I've been reading again which I haven't been reading, which cuts into my writing time. So it's a balance. It's a balance. How was Tyler? He is back to school as of today. His quarantine ended yesterday. Um, he's felt great since like Sunday. So doing well. <sighs> doing well. All right. See you, Glantium. Good luck. Yeah, tomorrow we'll do something. I'm waiting on a huge box from Jet Pens. I don't know if that'll be here by tomorrow. Um, if not, we might do some ink swatching. 
So I need to work on the drill log, right? I need to do the drill log ink testing um, as part of doing some, some ink swatching. So we'll see. I took a look at the Esterbrook Junior. How do you write with that thing? It's so small. I like small pens. Like I'm literally using this today. So, I mean, small pens are my jam. That's why I sold my Pelican M800. It's just too big. To each their own, right? I like the small pens. I'm hoping once you clean out the closet of doom, you find the missing pens. <sighs> I'm just concerned that they're not in there, that they're actually out in the shipping department. And I did the knock inventory on Monday. I haven't counted yet. Here, a package will be arriving on Monday. Good, I need to ship mine out. I need Rich's address. I don't think I have that. <laughs> did you see the Brooks drill log handles he had for sale? Yeah, they're very cool. How long have these pins been missing? Well over a year. We did some photography for Spoke. No, for Knock. My wife and I did. And they were props. So they've gotten swept up into the props. It may be like two years. <clears throat> the Namiki Emperor is gigantic. <sighs> so, and it's like some legit, like, good stuff. And I can think of three, three pins that are part of that, and there might be more. But I think they're in the ship, shipping department. So once I get this next batch of knock stuff out, um, by the way, I think I will launch that probably like Monday. What's today? Wednesday? You think the Sailor Lighthouse would beam the light? Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> But it's not. I even saw it. I saw the box yesterday. I keep wanting to look in the box. But I, I, when I was cleaning up, I was like, there's the box with no pin in it. <sighs> so we're, we're getting there as far as like organization goes in the, in the shipping department. Knock inventory, please say lookouts. Yeah, I'll probably have like 200 clay and sandstone lookouts. 200, 250. So... I think that's the most those and the um pencil cases i probably have like 200 of everything else is 50 or less probably quantity wise any prototypes going up no if we do any like prototypes we'll do that at atlanta if i go to the atlanta pen show i talked to jimmy jimmy says i mean obviously right now we're on so i told jimmy i want my two tables for the atlanta pen show and if we do any prototypes um I'll bring them there. So it's it's too hard to sell one-offs on the website. It would it'd be a page of like 50 or 100 items. I, I don't even think it's that many, but you know, creating one item entry over and over for however many things we got. I'll just I'll just bring them to the pin show or give them away or something like that. I might not have anything at the pin show to sell, but that'd be okay. Is there a way to get an email when the Knox sale occurs? Yeah, if you go to the Knox website, there's a uh, newsletter link. Just sign up for that. And um, yeah, no later than like Monday, Tuesday next week. That's what I'm thinking. It'll be the last big blowout. Miss G's, I made a whole bin to carry up stuff. And I left it back there. So yes, that will be coming. I have a bin full of giveaway stuff already. Um, some one-off stuff, just some older stuff that there's not enough to sell. Um, but like I left the inventory list back there too. So like I have a whole written list of inventory. Left that too. I just haven't, I'm just too lazy to go back there and get it. So <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get it tomorrow when I'm back there shipping anyway. So, so we will have some cases to give away um yeah for sure for sure you know cleaning out and reorganizing it you, you definitely get a lot of um a lot of things to to give give away would jeff hand make one-offs or would you use the same uh man you know the one-off stuff's usually jeff or unless i got prototypes in from like the like the stuff we sign off on like the um the manufacturing like the go sample <laughs> You can't walk 100 feet. It's like 300 feet, okay? Chill out. Chill out. 
It's cold. Are you going to Little Rock? I don't even know when it is. I'm not, I mean, I don't know what shit pin shows I'm going to. Since the, the virus is still so crazy, like, I have no real interest in going, but I, I'm anxious. I'm anxious to go. So, I'm planning on going to Atlanta. We'll see after that. <laughs> What's up, Alan? I did I did um, grab some a few things to, to give away. Hey, Momo Crafting. crafting. Woo, I said a bad word. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> My voice is shot today. How cold? It's not that cold. It's like 50. It's just laziness. It's just laziness, Tessa. It's like literally like right there. But it's like it's like 300 feet. Come on. Plan on coming to St. Louis. Our numbers are plummeting and summer should be great. Yeah, I mean, hopefully by the summer we're in good shape. <sighs> but yeah, like I'm certainly not booking anything in advance. I'm not making any advance plans. I called Judy Pooty once. <laughs> <clears throat> like I said, my, I, my brain cells are shot after this uh, podcast. <sighs> it was a podcast today. And apparently it's posted 12 minutes ago. Posted the Panic 497 with at Dowdyism and at iMike. Here's my desk computer. Here's my desk cup. <laughs> but I did I did grab some new giveaway items. I don't know. I mean, little slow by slow organization i have a table at baltimore so i hope people show up of course depending on the numbers i might have to make a last minute call myself yeah like everything's like completely in flux still completely in flux right now anything special lined up for the 500th episode um i have an idea of what we're gonna do and we're gonna um um announce that next week on the show it's nothing big or epic, but I think it'll be fun and cool. So, I think people are switching from pandemic panic to endemic enduring. Yeah, five hundredth episode will be. Hey, it's been five hundred episodes. Bye. I don't know. We might get. Uh, we might get run off the internet after this. After today's episode, <laughs> drinking trivia game. <laughs> Yeah, I, I had to work that in there, Jackie. That was funny. I figured Mike wouldn't let me make that the show title, though. He'd be too angry. <laughs> Y'all are going to want to listen to today's episode. Don't just download today's episode. At least listen to at least listen to the, the Retro 51 segment. <laughs> Let's just say Mike, uh, Mike had a moment. <laughs> it did us it like i said like we can we couldn't plan this stuff out if we try oh yeah definitely download but probably give this one a listen all right see you bruce oh, man let's see excuse me let's see what i have to give away because i need to i need to take a break but we'll definitely do a giveaway. So I brought some new stuff in. I brought some nice stuff. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's do this. Evan's going to want to win this one. So hopefully Mike won't get mad at me. Uh, Koi Komad, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. <clears throat> oh, this one will have to probably make the like if we ever do like what episode eight hundred entry point. <laughs> this one will probably make the list. It was one of those episodes. Um, Mr. Madison, I owe him an email. I'm gonna write that down now. I need to talk to him this week. <clears throat> A 
a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away at a pen show. He gave me this. So let's give it to y'all. It's, it's cool to have, but it just sits in my desk. I mean, it just sits in the closet. Um, it's really, really cool. All right, y'all want to see this? I don't have my desk. Wow, have I never opened this? Maybe I've opened from the other side. Is this really called the Core Cordium? So the it's even got the label like still stickered on there, but I must open on the other side. So just wait. <clears throat> 500th episode needs to be a Visconti Iopena. That's amazing. So still got the instructions here, but this is the uh, this is the Rotring Core ballpoint. <laughs> Again, one of the best worst pens ever made. Cordium is the color. Coridium is the colorway. I don't have my side camera set up today, so we're just going to deal with this. But yeah, this is a uh, thick boy for sure. Listen. <laughs> so, this is the classic. Mike has a bunch of these. He gave me one, so we're going to give it to y'all. It's amazing. You will thoroughly enjoy this pen just for how silly it is. Like, I like it. It's like a juiced up air press. Yeah, that's a good point. And why don't you use this? Yeah, I don't know. It's cool, right? It'd be cool to have, it's like, I can't use all the things. My desk would be worse than it is right now if I had, like, all the things I liked out here. <laughs> all right, so let's, uh, let's give it away. Uh, Rotring Core. I told you all I'd grab some cool things. All right, the giveaway is open. Type exclamation point raffle if you're interested in winning. It's an 80, definitely not. This would be like a 30. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <sighs> Seven Celsius in London, please raffle something wooden for the fire. I mean, look at me. My hands have been in the hoodie pretty much the whole time. <clears throat> and it's not even that cold here. It's just cold in my house. <clears throat> Exclamation. So thanks for hanging out today, chat. Sorry I can't go too long today, but we'll do we'll do a full full stream tomorrow. I'm thinking unless the jet pens box comes in, which I need to open. Um, if that comes in today, we'll do that tomorrow. If not, I think I'm going to swatch some inks and start doing some drill log testing, and just kind of play around a little bit and figure out what is working well with the drill log. Hey, morning, Rewizzles. Rotring core is an automatic 100. I think for Mike, it probably is. Different names of the colorways are just as fun. Like, what other colorways are there? So what did I say this was? Coridium. Core Coridium. I also, if I'm going to do drill log testing, I need to get my camera closer to the desk since it's the 0.5 tip. <laughs> All right, let's see who wins. Pick a win. I hope it's a first. <laughs> I hope it's a first timer. I can't even read that. Come on, Dell. Come on, Dell. Come on, Dell. You won. I, that's definitely a first time winner. You won the Rotring Core. If you're here, speak up in chat. You are a winner. You're in the UK, that's fine. I ship worldwide. I mean, this the Rotring Core is a worldwide pen, right? Famous 
around the world for its awesomeness. So this deserves to go to the losers of the Boston Tea Party, <laughs> the losers of the Revolutionary War. I am glad to ship it there. <laughs> Sorry, that's a podcast inside joke today. You'll have to go to listen to the podcast to understand the joke. So email me your shipping address. I'll be glad to send it to you. That's what I do. We ship internationally. These suck. They suck. Look at that. Papers torn off right there. Worst sticky notes ever. Worst sticky notes ever. Do you ship hugs worldwide? I do. Virtual hugs. They really do suck. God, they're awful. I don't know why I'm hell-bent on finishing this. I should just throw it away, but it feels wasteful. <laughs> you'll have to, uh, you'll have to uh, listen to today's uh, podcast to get uh, your country mates. Um, <laughs> um, few words about uh, a certain pen that uh, just launched. All right. Wow, those are terrible. I was surprised your beloved high tech C got a 40. Yeah, so like the biggest thing about this rating system thing that I'm doing is I got to get a bunch of reviews out there because it's really, really context based, right? So it's kind of setting. Uh, No, it was about the about a product description for the the coffee retro fifty one that launched on Gold Spot. It was a, it was an accidental discovery that threw the podcast uh, on a complete uh, derailment. We need a top rated so we can benchmark. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to balance that uh, head full of ideas. So it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be like months before we get like this this context in there. I like that you put examples down on the high tech. That's just like literally one writing session. For, for that, right? So, all right, we're going to wrap it there today, chat. Thanks for, thanks for hanging out. Um, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll do a full stream tomorrow. Oh, no, dude. I need to, I should probably, I wonder if you can still buy those. I should give it like a re-review. I don't know, that would be painful. Um, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. Short stream today. Um, I'm going to chill out for a little bit and get back to work. But uh, thanks for hanging out. I will stay warm. I'll get, it's sunny out. I might actually probably be warmer sitting outside. Uh, love your faces. And uh, we'll see you all later. All right? Thanks, y'all.